Ooh, some more Wind Waker. I'm very excited to continue. I feel a lot better and very pumped to keep going. So yeah, I'm where we left off. I'm on, I think the third floor where this big thing is. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm excited to continue. So thank you all so much for joining. Hi, Anna. Wow, has it really been a month? Oh my goodness, okay. Dang, that's, that's really quick. I am so sorry, Anna. I hope you and your family are doing good. I'm sending you lots of love. Hi, Audio Freak. Hi, Azur. Hi, Retro Cheats. Hi, Santiago Rivera. How are you all? I hope you're doing well and having a nice weekend. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited to continue with Wind Waker. And if you're excited as well, please make sure to leave a like. Um, but yes, I'm gonna start going in here and we're going to, yeah, get really far, hopefully. Hi, Postal Dude. Hi, Curtis B. How are you guys? I'm good, thank you. I'm feeling really good. Hi, Shy Studio. Hi, NY Joe. <laughs> okay. Okay, so here's the nasty thing. So I guess I can keep going forward there. So let's just jump over. Oh my god. And then I spin attack. Okay, let's go. Careful where I walk. <laughs> Hi, cats and dogs. Oh, I love your name. Hi, Bizzle. Hi, X Dude. I'm taking very small steps. Okay. Hey, got a chest. What do we got? Hopefully a key. Beans. Beans to you too. Hey Camden, I do, how are you? Compass, beautiful. Maybe I can still throw it there though. Ooh, did that explode the vines? Oh no, it didn't. Okay, but it came down. Did I get the wall? Yes, yes, I did. Good. Okay, now I'll find how to get to that wall. I'm being so focused. Canusia. <laughs> Love you too, Anna. I want some beans to see you and give you coffee. Oh, coffee beans. Heck yeah. Yes, I got a small key. Beautiful. Um, I've already had my coffee this morning, but thank you very much. Ah, I know. This way. Ooh, there's pots. I swear if there's a nasty boy in one of these pots. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, let's get to this pot. Ooh. Okay. Oopsies, no, no, no. Put it down. Lovely. <laughs> All right. I guess we'll jump back to this one. How are you going, Camden? Oh, good, Harry. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoy. Okay, and then to the 
the last pot here. Lovely. Okay. And then all the way back. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, now I've got the key to go to the other door. Let me go. Hey. Okay, I'm out of here. Alrighty, so now that door is where I put the key. Hey, Dragon Thud. Ooh, that's smart to cut the grass on around the vines. Okay, you're, you're smart, but I didn't even think of that. Oopsies. Go away, nasty. There we go. Oh yeah, it is. Cool, cool, cool. There it is. Okay, but I made it. Lovely. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh boy. What the heck are you? Wait, no. There we go. Ah, okay. It's gonna be one of those things. Press A at the right time. <gasps> you! How dare you! <laughs> How dare you! Gotcha. Nasty. <laughs> okay, we back. I'm squinting so much. I'm struggling to see. How are you? What's your favorite Pokemon? Togepi. Ooh. It's like the the boss from um, Dark Souls. Okay. Oh. Yes. Okay. Okay. Ooh. No. 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 Don't do that. I meant to press A, but I was already on my thing. Cool. I like this. Okay, this is cool. Here we go. No, no, no. Just gotta get the things off. There we go. I broke one of its wings already. Okay, now. Ooh. Ooh, no. I just gotta get the things up there. We go. Get off me, nesties. There we go. Oh no, it's got wings again. Dang it. I just gotta get these things off me. I'm not very quick when it comes to the. There we go, the spin around. Hi. Dang it. There we go. Got it. 
Heck yeah. Your favorite Pokemon is Mimikyu? Oh, is that the mimicking one? Heck yeah. We did it! Make sure y'all leave a like. Because we did the dang thing. Alright, what do we got? Oh, thank you, NY Joe. Ooh, you got the boomerang. Set it to one of your things and throw. Okay. Boomerang. You can target up to five objects at once. Let me set it to my spyglass to Y. Cool. If you're ever wondering why I'm looking down, it's um to the Wii U gamepad. <laughs> That's why I'm looking down. Ooh. Ooh, we got a thingamabob. What are these called? Yes. Very good, very good. Beautiful. Okay. Lovely. Alright, I guess. Oh, okay, I can't leave. Interesting. How do I target them both? Ah, oh, I like that. Hey, there we go. Let's go. Heck yeah. Winged Mothula defeated. <laughs> awesome. Hey. Why? Got a few of them. Nope, this one. Got you. Okay, now why? Hey, it flips me around. There we go. Okay, got you. And now. Beautiful. He fell down. <laughs> oh, wait, you're already. Got him. Okay, let's try this door now. Ooh. Cool. Nice. Oh my god, the boomerang's awesome. One, two, three. Oh, that didn't work. Uh, little tip if you're struggling to lock onto enemies, just wait until the yellow appears above their head. Oh, cool. Thank you so much. Grapple their feathers first and then kill them? True. I could do that too. Huh, okay. Um, what else am I meant to do in here? Oh, am I meant to swing on one of them? Okay, hold on. Let me go out and come back in and see if I can swing on one of them. They look funny when they fell down. <laughs> hey, Harry Allen. Hey, my... my, my villain? Yeah. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Okay. Am I meant to swing on them? I don't even know. <laughs> Maybe a prize orb? Ah, oh, is that what it's called? Okay, I'm silly. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Congrats on the boomerang. Thank you. Um, I don't know if I can swing on them or if I'm gonna fall down. So let me try. Just put away this. Ow. Okay, um. Hmm. 
would I be able to glide across? But I feel like I'd fall lower. So maybe if I... Oh, gosh. Would I be able to glide across that distance? Okay, let's try. Oh! Yes, 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 yes. Okay, good, good, good. Woohoo! Hey, Josh, how are you? This is my first time being here uh, a second here. Oh, well, welcome, Lakitha. How are you? Thank you for joining. Looks like I'm not too late. Not at all, Gonzalo. We're just getting started. Beautiful. Yeah, we do. It's uh, it's now ginger hair. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, let's go. Ooh, now I'm up way higher. Okay. Ooh, do I want to? Oh my gosh. <gasps> I did it! Cool. Awesome. We just cut the grass while I'm here. <laughs> Not a single item. Beautiful. Um, shall I float down? All the way down? but let me try that again and then I'll hold up my paraglider. Okay. How do I hold up my paraglider? Oh, oh boy. Huh. I don't actually know how to... Oh, I would jump on this. Okay. <laughs> Not bad. Let's do it again. Yeah, the boomerang does look really cool. I really like how it looks. Your favorite Pokemon is Pikachu and Ditto. Cute. And, oh, oh, okay. That didn't work. <laughs> Let, me try. Let me try it again. Yes, good, got more magic. Okay, thank God. here first. Ooh, I can also hit the little spikes. Ooh. It looks pretty when they're floating in the air. Lovely. Okay. Oh gosh. Whoa. Oh. Uh, hold up. Um... I get back up. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I'm so bad at the spin around move. I try to hold it, but sometimes it like awkwardly presses it. There we go. Go. Ooh. Wait, 
Stop it. Okay, we made it out. We made it out. <laughs> Chaos. Ooh, okay. Got a chest. Lovely. And then now... Oh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> cool. Oh boy. <laughs> Don't do that. Dang. He hit me. Oh, I see. Throw up, it doesn't seem to work. Maybe I can just. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, cool. Alright, got it. Lovely. Okay. Hi, Marcos. How are you? No, you're not late at all, Nienna. Um, okay, let me get back onto here. And then let me fight you. Oh, oh I'll have to do this. Ah, okay, cool. Oh, you nasties. <laughs> get, get away. Come on. <laughs> Damn. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, how do I crawl again? I think I gotta have nothing in my hands. Yeah. No, that. Ah, there we go. Hold on. There we go. Okay. No. Oh god, I can't see. Okay, let me see if I need something else. It's <laughs> so hard to see. Okay. You nasties. Alright, come on. Hello. Alright, we're getting it. Make sure you leave a like for the progress. <laughs> I had to get used to how to learn to use that leaf correctly. <laughs> it can be finicky, but I love that it was like the birth of the Breath of the Wild paraglider. That makes me love it even more. Ooh, baby. Ooh, there's like a drop in there. Oh, I'm gonna have to bomb it. I see, I see. All right, I can do, I can do. This is not the one. <laughs> oh, 
What the heck? <laughs> Hmm. There's got to be something else I need to do then. Yep. Um. Huh? Huh, that just forced me to go in there. Okay. Um. The way. Crawl. seems like that's where I'm meant to go. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh gosh. No, no, no. Ah, oh, poo. <laughs> no. Again. Come on. Right, you want to go this way? Okay. I thought I had to do the things. I thought it would only work if I did the, the leaves. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, so now. Let's. Hey! Beautiful! Oopsies. <laughs> Come on. There we go. I'm not good at angling this. <laughs> you got a treasure chart. Open this chart on the map screen and uh, and a place where treasure lies will be lit up. Sail to that area and then use the chart to find treasure. Heck yeah. All right, we did that. After all that time, leave a like. Cristobal, thank you so much again for the super chat. You didn't need to. Hi Jade, I'm so happy that you're streaming this. Oh, thank you so much, Cristobal. I really appreciate that. And you did last time as well. You definitely don't need to, but thank you so much for your support. Thank you, Marcos. Um, okay. So, is there nothing else I do in this room? Let's head back. Why is it back up? Oh, you're nasty. Can I aim at you? Mm. I hate you so much. Yes! Be gone. Could I swim there? Okay, I can still reach him. Hey! Okay, lovely. Oh wait, there's a ladder up there. Did I have a look at that before? Otherwise then I want to try like sail on that flower if I can. Or is this where I came from? Oh yeah, that's where I came from, my bad. <laughs> okay, stay on here and... Whoa! Okay, I'm not very good at this, but... things are the bane of my existence. Finally. Ugh, okay. Y'all know, in every single Zelda game, the Octo Rocks. My worst. My worst enemy. We did it! 
<laughs> okay, we did it. Wait. Let's go, Rockero. I heard something. Ooh. Steez. Ew. Ew. You guys are disgusting. If I can. Ooh. No. Oh, I gotta stand up high. That's what I gotta do. Oh, there's another one back here. Sneaky, sneaky. Aha. Here we go. Thank you so much, NY. NY Joe. Big key. Beautiful. Not, not too much, Yu Chen. Barely just started. We're getting into it. Ooh. No. Oh, it's the thickest boys. Oh, he, hit his, he hit his friend on the bum! <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. God, I love Nintendo. <laughs> I love Nintendo. No, 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 no. This is so beautiful. Come on, hit your, hit your friend on the booty. He's gone. Now just you. <laughs> no more hitting your friend on the booty. Oh, he's crying! <laughs> he's crying! <laughs> I love Nintendo so much. Beautiful. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Heck yeah, got a beautiful skull necklace. Yeah. The thick boys. <laughs> when you accidentally uh, beat up your other thick friend. I don't <laughs> think I should have said that. <laughs> Goodbye. Um. Wow. Make sure y'all leave a like for the thick boys. Um. What am I meant to do? <laughs> Moblins are tough. Not when they hurt each other. Then they're <laughs> then they're really good. Um, there's a door up there. Uh, I see. I see. Okay. I see. Tunk. Yep. Yep. Oh, thank you, Nick Edwards. I love the multicolored hearts. They are beautiful. When they get hurt, their reactions are funny and kind of pitiful. They are. I kind of feel bad. I'm like, oh, I made him really sad. Ooh. I didn't realize that was a, 
Oh, okay, that's okay. I can jump down. Oh, no. Absolutely disgusting. Okay, let's blow you guys away. Okay, am I? Yeah, I'm back where I started. Okay. Beautiful. You got puppies? Like, brand new? That's so cute. Okay, so. This, I think I'm still right where I need to... Blow on this, and then pull back to here, and get on this, and heck yeah! Okay, I did it. Now what? <laughs> Now, I must find a way to break these. Could I do it with the boomerang? Let me try. I can. Beautiful. Wow, you got new cat? Oh my god, what color cats? If it's multiple. Ooh, you nesties. Even with the little spiky thing on me. Yeah, yeah. Pendant. Get off. Okay, give me some magic or a heart. <laughs> or absolutely nothing within all this grass. <laughs> That's an option too. Wow. Absolutely nothing. You have four cats? You and your grandmother have four cats. Oh my god, heck yeah. Living the dream. Oh, I w went the wrong way. <laughs> Good job, Jade. It's this way. Ooh, and we got a pot. I'll go to it, but then I'll, I'll come back. Oh. Would I blow the lid off? Hmm. Would I? Ah! <laughs> oh, I can hit them. Oh, that is helpful. Oh, and I can pick the heart up. Stop it right now. That's so good. Fairy, wait, I've already got one in my bottle, but. Hello? Oh, there you go. I've already got one in my bottle, so that's okay. Nesties? Absolute nasty. Back up. Oh, it just stuns him. Huh. There you go. We have four cats too. Gato, Gingi, Mancha, and Kimba. Oh, 
Gonzalo. Those are very good kitties. And I love them all very much. <laughs> Hello, Ultimate League. How are you? Burn it with a stick. <laughs> Got him. Our cat's names are Lumiere, Belle, Felix, and Atari. Oh, those are such elegant names. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so now pick up. No, no, no. Break. And then pick up one of these. Light it on fire. And then you're saying that'll burn the. Hey, you're absolutely right. Thank you. Lovely. Okay. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. Don't do that. Back. I only have one cat and his name is Lucas. Well, Lucas is a very good boy. Cool. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's see what this boss is going to be like. What console? Yeah, this is the Nintendo Wii U. Nessie, he was such a cute coral. He was little and chubby. Oh, it's boomerang time. Oh, it's boomerang time. Oh, oh this is actually horrifying. What the? Okay, got him. Here we go. I'm inside. I got pooped out. That's okay. <laughs> as long as I got pooped out. Alright, let's do it again. At least I learned pretty quickly what to do. Again. And I got pooped out again. Korok back. It's, it's Mako or Mako or I forget the name, but <laughs> there he is. <laughs> he looks like a, a nut <laughs> instead of a Korok looking like a leaf. It looks like a little nut. I'm so happy. Look at me. <laughs> Man, are you the one who rescued me? You have my thanks. 
When all went dark around me, I thought my time on Earth was over. Makar, that's it, Makar. But why are you here, swordsman? What? The great tr Deku tree sent you? Oh, that that's right. Today's the day of our annual ceremony. <laughs> oh, I'm in trouble. I shouldn't be here. <laughs> I must get out of here immediately. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> Got the heart container. Yeah, baby. My God. Let's go quickly. Okay, let's go. <laughs> like a chestnut. Yeah, exactly. Also, hey, Ryan's channel. How are you? Love that voice. <laughs> Can you punt him? <laughs> the vegan Rancor. Firstly, I love your name. Oh my god, I'm crying. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, David. Oh, he's with me! <laughs> I have the boy. Oh, Maka, you have returned safely. Yeah. I'm sorry, Great Deku Tree. I know you warned us many times, but I still did not listen. <laughs> Do not worry, Makai. You are safe now. Just be more careful from now on. You have done well, Jade. I must thank you for your brave deeds. Here is that... Well, here is that which I have promised you. Please accept it. Ooh, beautiful. Heart container acquired. You received Pharaoh's Pearl. The earth spirit, the Deku Tree, has seen fit to give you this jewel, a treasure of the goddess Pharaoh. It is my hope that this pearl shall lead you to a fair destiny. As well, uh, all is well, Makar. Do not cry. <laughs> Please play your songs for me as you always do. Dude, I am a car. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's right. We must begin our ceremony soon, before the day ends. <laughs> I'm sorry to keep you all waiting. Let the ceremony begin. <laughs> oh, oh, he's a cellist. Oh, great, Jade. As my thanks to you, I shall play even harder than I normally do. <laughs> I don't know why this is tickling me so much. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I will. Ooh, oh! Cry. That was the best thing I've ever experienced. Great Deku Tree, this year you have once again produced some splendid seeds. With these seeds, we will continue to spread new forests across the Great Sea. Let us go, Koroks, to the sea. See you all next year. Take care. The freshly sprouted Koroks? Farewell, Great Swordsman. May the winds of chance bring us together again someday. Yeah, kind of had Celtic vibes. Y'all gotta leave a like for that performance. Makar put his whole Makusi into it. <laughs> so sorry for saying that. <laughs> Okay, lovely. Let's go back to the boat. <laughs> that was really good. Yep. They've earned it. <laughs> lovely. Now I will let the waters carry me back. Look how angry I look. <laughs> We did it! Ooh, hey beetle. Where's my boat? This way. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed that as much as I did. 
Oopsies. <laughs> so, this place too has been attacked by Ganon. Could he already be regaining his power? You must get the remaining pearl. It lies in a place northwest of here. We must set sail immediately. Cool, but I do also have some treasure charts. Um, this map isn't open. How do I open it? There we go. I don't... I don't understand. <laughs> um... Sorry, I'm using the thing to, to work out what I'm doing. Treasure chart 39. It's not fully really explaining. Does that mean that's where it is? Or, or is that where the next mission is? Alright, let me just follow this and hope that that's where the treasure is. Let's go. Beautiful. Let's get some treasure, guys. We are seafarers. <laughs> you clapped your hands as well, Marcos? Yes. As you should, a round of applause for the freaking Koroks. Yeah, I've got my chart open on the, the thingy. It's hard to show, but, <laughs> but we're following it. It's beautiful. And I now have bait on me if I find uh, more fish. Koroks put it on a hell of a show. Yeah, they did. This is peaceful. I like this. It's treasure hunting time. What the heck is that? That looks like an enemy. Ooh. Ooh, it's like an icy, like, dragon thing. It's Greenland. <laughs> hey, the music! Yeah. Beautiful. So peaceful. I agree. Oh, you nasty Octo Rocks, get the heck away from me. Oh my god. And now there's a tornado. Foolish creature, who does not fear the gods? To the end of the sea with you, let the winds of Cyclops' wrath blow you away. I didn't think I was that close. Um, I, 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 I no. You all right? 
would seem that the wind god Cyclos bears some ill will toward humans. As you got forward, it would be wise to try not to get sucked up by any cyclones you see upon the seas. Ah, but if only we could find a way to harness the power of those cyclones, then it might be possible for us to travel across the ocean instantaneously. You do not yet have an item that can pierce distant targets. If you did, you might be able to obtain such a power. Keep that in mind. Um, okay, I don't think I'm too far away. Let me see what this is while I'm here. <laughs> Check. Good morning! Letters for Jade. We have one letter. Here is your letter. It sneezed at me. Dear Jade, if you are reading this letter, it can only mean you have peeked into one of our many post boxes. I am indebted to you. I am very sorry to uh, I let you leave without thanking you. Please accept my heartfelt apology along with my thanks. We cannot do much to help you, but we can at least do this. If we get any letters or parcels for you, we will deliver them to a post box near you. If you see any wiggling post boxes, please look inside them. I suppose you have a long way to go before your perilous journey is done. I have included a gift for you with my help, uh, for you with my letter in the hope that it might help you. Please accept this small token. I look forward to the day that we meet again. May fortune f fill your wings from Kamali's fa father. Aww. Hey, a piece of heart. Heck yeah. Beautiful. Okay, are there bombs around here? Anthony, thank you so much for the super chat. I really like your Zelda gameplays. I can't wait for Zelda Twilight. Yes, you know that's coming up next, baby. I'm very excited to play that as well. So, oh my goodness. So I've never played that before. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I stun it and then I hit it. But thank you so much. You definitely didn't need to do that. Thank you very much for the super chat. You got some blue chew jelly. Keep it in your spoils bag. Deep within blue chew chews is a gelatinous essence that is said to be a magical cure-all. But unfortunately, it can't be used in its current form. That is so sweet of you. Thank you so much. Alright, I just want to see if there's a bomb here so I can um, bomb the entrance to that. Money. Oh, there's another pile though. Money. <laughs> okay. Oh well. That's a rare type of jelly you'll find? Oh good. Well, I've got one. It's raining. Um, okay. Well, I shall come to you another day. Yeah, one day when I can carry bombs. <laughs> cool. Okay, let's continue, everybody. To the treasure island. So thankfully, the cyclone didn't put me too far away. <laughs> Hi, David. How are you? Eric, I don't think I have yet. Oh, this gameplay will make my tonsils less painful. Oh, did you get your tonsils out recently? There's that cyclone. Well, I hope you have a speedy and painless recovery. As painless as possible. Yes, thank you, Marcus. I've got, uh, I did buy bait from beetles, so if I see them, I'll give them bait. I'm not sure why the arrow's pointing that way when the chart seems to be here. Yeah, 
music's so beautiful. the treasure because it should be very close hi Eva use the wind to change the wind blow direction okay so that's just where the wind blows cool 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 thank you so much Marcus I will but I'm so close that I don't really need to enjoying the Saturday oh good I'm glad I am enjoying my Sunday because I'm in the future <laughs> um, but yes Ooh, is this the island Ooh. oh oh they are shooting bombs okay oh my goodness Oh no, that's not the island. That's just something in the way? Huh, okay. Let me change the wind. Oh, I hate when that happens, hold on. There we go. I'll make it face north. Yeah, north. Cool. So I guess that wasn't the island, that was just something in between. The treasure should be just up ahead, according to my map. <laughs> Here we go. It says I'm in it now. Um, is that it? That looks dangerous. But, oh, yeah, that's it. Look, do you see it? What has happened to this place? Great Fish Isle. Cool. What is the meaning of this? The island, it is. We are too late. I knew we had precious little time, but I never suspected how little. A great water spirit named Jaboon once lived here, but no sign of him remains. Oi! Oh my gosh. So you're here. I've been looking for you. Are you by chance seeking the great spirit Jaboon? I'm sorry to report to you that Jaboon has, uh, can no longer be found here. Just look at how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this, too, is the work of the shadow in the Forsaken Fortress. But fear not, Jaboon was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He is in a safer abode now. Would you like to guess what an abode may be? On the island where you were born, on Outset. Oh, cool. Yet even if you were to go to Outset now, you would not be able to see Jaboon. The cave where he hides is sealed with a mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why, not even the pirates with their mighty ship could get in. I must apologize. I thought if anyone would know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without so much as a thought of the, for the consequences. I don't know what they hoped to get, but they immediately set sail for Outset Island, and I tried to break into the cave. Oh, and tried to break into the cave. It is lucky they could not gain entrance. I have heard that they were last spotted on Windfall Island, but doing what I do not know. If you wish to see Jaboon, I think you'd better search for the pirates on Windfall Island. What an eerie isle this is. Everywhere else boasts clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers under dark clouds and rain. Baloo must have been right when he asked me to bring word of Jaboon to you. He called this island cursed. I would 
counsel against staying here longer than you have to. But that is your decision. I have told you of Jaboon, so my task is complete. Explore it a little. Whoa, is that the ship? Um. Let me break these pots. I guess there's not much else I can do here. All right. Better head to Windfall. Hey, Hammer Studios. I'm good. How are you? So Jaboon has survived. The Sea Spirit has lived through the trials of many long years. He must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. If we are to believe the words of the Rito Postman, then the pirates know something about the cave where Jaboon hides. Why don't we go to Windfall and search for them there? Okay, so which one is Windfall? Forsaken Fortress, Dragon Roost, Windfall. Okay, cool. And that is north, which is good. Let's just get around this island. There we go. Okay. To Windfall. I've got to make it go east. Oh, what the heck? There we go. <laughs> cool. Northeast. Ramen, yum. Hi, Red Hood. How are you? Oh, thank you, Kyle. <clears throat> Whoa. Um. Oh. Oh, what the heck? What do I do about that? What? Um. Um. Whoa. I didn't think I fought out on the sea. Whoa. This is wild. Oh my goodness.
Rebate. I didn't think we fought out in the water. there I'm almost at Windfall Island. Sheesh. Come on, come on. I'm almost there. Sheesh. Gosh, I wasn't looking. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, what was that windfall? Oof. Treasure is still there, it disappears when you step on it. So I got it? Or I gotta go back, okay? Well then, that sucks. to jump? I'm so confused. How do I jump? You can jump with the boat? How? <laughs> oh, right, right bumper. Okay. Sorry, I'm focusing on so many different things. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. Good to know. Um, oh God, well, where was the thing? <laughs> I have no idea where it was now. What do I do if it's gone? Have to salvage treasure glow spots. I don't know exactly what square it was on. I might just go to Windfall Island because I I'm not too sure. And I I feel like it's a bit too late now. <laughs> My bad. I now know though. Education is half the battle. <laughs> so for next time, now we know. so much for the super chat you didn't need to thank you very much i can see from rivali's point of view link is an aristocrat who grew up with royalty rivali is a commoner he probably views link's silence as superiority oh, i never thought of that oh my gosh i'm almost here but thank you so much beetle save me from the shark Oh my goodness, I made it. <laughs> it is just as the postman told us. The pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing the attention of the townsfolk. I know not what they are researching, but if they are hoping to get their hands on Jaboon's sacred gem, I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. I think you should try to find out what happened... Oh, sorry, what the pirates are up to without them finding out about you. How do I do that? What would that entail?
not sure how to be sneaky. Pirates are regular people. <laughs> I'm not understanding the mission at hand. I don't get it. Check. Place a decorative object here. Sincere good wishes will co soon cover the town in pure joy. The joyous volunteer association. person there. <clears throat> Hi, are you okay? It would seem that there won't be any auction this evening, wouldn't you say? Not in a storm like this, there won't. So they don't know that people are here? Hmm. <clears throat> yep. Hi. Dear me, but there's a terrible storm raging this evening. The night seems very unsettled somehow. Potion shop guy's still here. I'll see you, NY Joe. Thank you so much for joining. Um, I'm a little lost on what I meant to do, actually. <clears throat> to show what I'm doing. Ooh, is this a pirate or a regular guy? <clears throat> Fine night, isn't it? A little rain once in a while isn't bad at all. I think I've actually missed getting wet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so no, he's not a pirate. Okay, move. There we go. Hmm. Why, young sir, I must say you seem to be in the possession of a very fine picto box there. Are you a lover of pictographs as well? There can be no villains amongst the ranks of picto box lovers. Take your time, look around, I implore you, love heart. <laughs> and while you're here, please do visit my upstairs pictograph gallery. You're bound to find it quite exciting, young sir, I guarantee it. Cool, thanks. You didn't let me in before, but now 
Oh yeah, I got the pictograph from... Creepy. <laughs> <laughs> oh ho ho ho. Aren't those some finely snapped pictographs? You must admit it. But come now, you needn't be so surprised, my young sir. It is a hobby of mine to sneak up behind people when they least expect it. It's quite an amusing diversion. Think nothing of it. That's not... That's not cool. By the way, the pictographs you see decorating these fine walls have all been taken by none other than myself. They are my pride and joy. You see, in my younger days, I was tirelessly sailing far and wide across the great sea, snapping pictographs wherever I went. Have a look at them, young sir. Thanks. Oh, it's these nasty things. The choo-choos. Why, there is even said to be an extremely rare species of them known as the blue choo-choo. It is only under very unusual circumstances that are, they are ever sighted. You would be most lucky to ever come across one, young sir. I already have. This one is of a tiny rock islet resting far out there in the seas southeast of here. Isn't that nice? There was a very dignified butler standing before the door, and I snapped his pictograph without even thinking. That aside, I am certain this is someone's private cabana. This is an incredible pictograph. I saw this strange platform rising up out of the seas, seeming to claw at the sky. It makes for an even stranger silhouette. I wonder if such things still remain out there on the high seas, lonely on the waves. Ah, if only I had the chance, I would love to see these things once again. This pictograph of an isle I once visited. Isn't it a finely snapshot? I took it in my younger days. It is an outset island. It is the most delightful of fishing villages, innocent and rich, with nature's bounty. It was th there I met a beautiful young lass. Although I suppose she's probably not as young as she used to be, but, uh, to be these days. What kind of pictograph is this, you ask? One ill-fated day, misfortune befell me, and my boat was destroyed. Clinging to the wreckage, I drifted at the whims of the waves. That's when I saw this monstrosity. This foul ship veiled in mist and fading in and out of sight, like something of another world. Yes, my young sir, tis none other than the ghost ship. The rumours I've heard to tell of a man who researched the re reaches of the sea where the ghost ship faded in and out of sight, and th that he drew a map of its movements. But it is said that as soon as the man had finished drawing the lines of that cursed map, he died, a most unexpected death, tru chilling, truly chilling. Now, if one were able to find that map, then it might be possible to sneak onto the ghost ship and get the treasure that is said to lurk within its hull. Not a bad picture, hmm? Is that not a rather mysterious statue? The statue's home is on one of the Triangle Islands. It lies due south of here. There are a total of three Triangle Islands, the Northern, the Southern, and the Eastern Triangle Islands. Each of them has a statue such as this, standing on its shores. This pictograph chills me to the bone. The Forsaken Fortress. This place lies to the northwest of our fair isle, but it has been enveloped in filthy dark clouds of late. What are we to do against the silent evil that lingers there? If you value your life, young sir, then at the very least you should stay away as far away from that place as you possibly can. But my sister's there. It feels as if evil that is not of this world lies in lies in wait there, biding its time. Well, thank you for all of the fascinating info. There's also a room here, but I don't know how I get to it. Okay. Thanks, sir. J Lord, thank you so much again for the super chat. Theory, the beautiful lass is your grandma. Ooh. <laughs> and that she's not as young as she once was. <laughs> she a <your> babe. <laughs> Thank you so much. You didn't need to do that.
Okay. Yeah, the place where Link tried to save his sister. Hi. I just saw some strangers here in town. They went over toward the bomb shop. Why would they be going there? Oh. Okay, where's the bomb shop? Bomb shop. Um, let me know if you guys remember where the bomb shop is. Ooh, it's dancing again. Good evening, letters for Jade. We have one letter. Here is your letter. If you wish to be a true swordsman, find some knight's crests and return to me, Orca. Okay. And a red rupee. Lovely. Okay. Um. We're closed today, so scram now. I know another way in. Okay, this is it. This is the place. Okay, I got this. Don't be mad at us. It's not our fault that we absolutely gotta have bombs to get to the treasure we're after. How about you just think of it as a payback for the nasty little monopoly you've been running here lately, huh? <laughs> so I bet you're thinking it was foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yup, I bet you are. You know, Gonzo, I still can't get over that bit of fast talking you pulled to get that information out of the postman. Huh? Oh no, it was him talking. Huh? Oh yeah, that was smooth. I tell ya, the minute I set my eyes on that jade, I just knew he was hiding out, uh, hiding something back at outset, yeah? So when I saw that postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about the kid and stuff. And presto, he spills the beans. Good work, Gonzo. I'm so confused who's talking. <laughs> Good work, Gonzo. Really just top notch. It's funny though. I'm thinking this is maybe the first time you've shown such wit, such cunning. You know, with your cunning and Miss Tetra's smarts, if you two got married and had a kid, the kid would be the greatest pirate to ever sail the se seas. Yep, the greatest. Aye, aye. You idiot. Keep your mouth shut, yeah? Don't be stupid. Miss Tetra, are you listening to this nitwit? Can't you dock him some pay or something? Quit goofing off, both of you. Keep your childish jokes to yourself and get those bombs back to the ship. The second you're done loading them up, we're setting sail for outlet, uh, Outset Island. Damn. What? Miss, we have to leave immediately, but it's been so long since we were on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah? How about we grub tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead? I mean, uh, I'm fine either way, of course. Whatever you say is fine, miss, is what I mean to say. It's just that the boys were so excited to come to town, yeah? And I can't help but to think it would be awful hard on them to leave so soon without a proper layover. So, what say we set sail tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? That treasure isn't going anywhere. You're with me, right, boys? Who's for a night of fun? 
<laughs> they say nothing. <clears throat> You're all fools, do you know that? You saw that demolished island. You saw the senseless destruction. We have to hurry onto Outset Island or the same could happen there. Huh? Not to be disrespectful, but by the sound of things, you're worried more about that island than the treasure, miss. Don't be ridiculous. I want you... I want, you know, the treasure. What? Alright, fine. Have it your way. We can leave town tomorrow, you big babies. But we're setting sail at first light, so no sleeping in, understood? Please. Aye, aye. <laughs> Say there, brother, what was today's password again? Mako, are you serious? You forgot already? You're so useless. Today's password is plankton, yeah? Remember? You know that, Nico. Won't let you in if you don't say it exactly right. And he's real picky about it, so I'll say it once more. <laughs> Today's password is Plankton. Okay. Plankton, eh? Oh boy. Okay, well, firstly... Get wrecked. Um, I still can't use my sword, but I'll just exploit all these crates. Hey, money! <laughs> Beautiful. Lots of money. <laughs> Lovely. buy anything. Yeah, I can't help him. <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> He's gonna be like, wow, you really didn't help me, huh? <laughs> he wouldn't let me, um, I can only get my sword out now. <laughs> hey, Eric, how are you? Okay. So now do I help head to Outset Island before they do, or do I spy on them some more? I said the password, but I don't know where for. Huh. Let me see if I can... You didn't help him, you just robbed him. I tried to help him, I didn't know how. <laughs> I couldn't open it. Do I just jump on here? Oh, heck yeah. <clears throat> Who can't walk the plank? Huh. Okay. Plank on. Right, right, you may enter. Cool. Who let me in? <laughs> ah, 
You. Oh, oh, Jay, my old swabby. So, you're alive? All the other pirates said you'd got done in by that bird monster in the Forsaken Fortress, so I thought. Never mind what I thought, you're alive. Oh, I get it now. You came back because you missed me so much. I had no idea you wanted to be my swabby so badly. I see, I see. Well, after you left, I went back to being the bottom rung on the ladder, which is why I'm stuck here while everyone else is in town having fun and eating and stuff. But I guess being so worshipped by my swabby ought to cheer me up. All right, why don't we set you to your next test, huh? This one is harder than the last. Good luck, you'll need it, swabby. You can see the lanterns are hanging throughout the room, right? Last time when you pressed the switch, uh, platforms rose up for you to jump onto, right? Yeah, well this time there aren't any. Which means you have to jump, uh, you have to jump from one rope to the next rope. Pretty tough. All right. And that's not all. This time, I've put a gate on this door too. The switch opens the gate, but it'll close if you don't get here before time runs out. Run out of time and you'll have to try it again, little swabby. The switch that opens the gate is in the same place as before, so go step on it. If you get all the way to this side before time runs out, I'll give you the bombs we got in town. Yeah, you heard me. Give it your best shot, Swabby. Huh, what a deal. Okay, so there's the switch. And the first one will be that one. Okay. Let's go. Yep. How do I get lower? Yep. Damn. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> Put it down and then I'll pop it back up. I'm not good at this. <laughs> I'll try it again. Okay, close it. And now. Okay, let me just get in a good position. Okay. Press ZR or hold ZR to stop, then move down. Oh. Thank you. Ah, thank you. Yep. Dang it. <laughs> I'm still so bad at this. <laughs> Alright, hold up. Let me turn off the switch. Okay. It's a bit confusing with like two of them being so close to each other, but I guess that's on purpose. <laughs> Baby, yes, 
Alright. What? You've got to be... You already did it. You are incredible. Hey, Yasin. This isn't good. I've never even passed this test. How could he do it so quickly and make it look so easy? And if I give this to him, everyone will know for sure. Oh, I'll be so busted. Uh, okay. You're the best swabby of all time, so I guess I'll just give you the bombs. Go on, take them. Just don't tell anyone, okay? I'm serious. Like, really serious, okay, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo! You got bombs. You can carry up to 30. Pull one out and then press A to throw it. Or ZR to set it at your feet. Cool. Using bombs while on your boat gives you a mighty cannon you can use to fight off seagoing enemies. Set them to X, Y, or R. Cool. That's mighty courageous of you, trying to steal treasures from pirates. I suppose I should be shocked, but I'm more amazed that you managed to survive after being tossed out of that tower. From the look on your face, I have to guess you haven't saved your sister yet, huh? You don't give things much thought, do you? You just rush in, never thinking how badly things could go for you. Like just now, the only reason you got what you... What you did is... What? The only reason you got what you did was because we left a simple-minded little rat like Nico behind to look after things. Oh, No one else would have parted with our treasure so easily, I assure you. They put, have put someone else there. And just how do you intend to use those bombs anyways? Don't tell me you're going after Jaboon's treasure too. Right now, Jaboon is hiding in a cave at the back of the island you were born on. But the entrance is blocked by a giant stone doorway. You can't get in without breaking the door down the door. We're going to relax in town and eat our fill of whatever this town has to offer, but we'll be, we'll be leaving for outset first thing in the morning. If you manage to find Jaboon tonight, then I guess you win. But if you take too long, We'll come sailing right by you tomorrow morning. And believe me, you didn't get all of our bombs. Oh, okay. You better be quick, kid. Oh, shoot. Okay. I gotta go. Oi. Yeah, this is my first time ever playing um, Wind Waker. Karina? Um. Oh, wait, no, not this way. This way. I gotta be really quick. Oh dear. I know there's a post uh, in the box, but I'll get it another time when I'm not in a rush. Well done. Our preparations are complete. If what the girl says is true, the pirates won't be leaving until morning. We must meet with Jaboon and get the pearl from him before they arrive. Let us delay no longer, Jade. I wanted to do some more exploring, but I don't got the time. Okay, so... Dragon Roost. Outset. Oh god, it's super far. Okay, so I need the winds to be south. Okay. Let's go. It's all the way the opposite side of the world. <laughs> Get it? I'm not understanding. Do I have to get out of the ship? Pull away. So stop. Get out. Um, 
to know what to do. Um, let me see if I can just get... Oh, stop. Oh, God. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Why did you go so far? Hold on, hold on. Oh, freaking... Cripes. It goes so far when I put the sail out for a split second. It's so hard to tell. Okay, it's loudest here, I think. I think I'm on this side. Oh, got it. Okay. A purple ruby. <laughs> ruby. Okay, well, better than nothing. Cruise. Okay. Alrighty. Well, let's set back sail to south. Okay. Uh, yes, I do, Marcos. I've got a fairy in a bottle already. Oh, gosh, no. No. Stop it, you nasties. Stop. I hate these nasty boys. Another one here. Oh god, and there's a thing right here. Oh no, never mind. You know what? Not worth it. Not worth it. Set sail. Not worth it. Oh, it's a nasty. <laughs> Go pay your dear grandmother a visit. I shall. But do I have to do the thing with Jaboon first? Like, do I need to be quick? I always struggle when games tell you to, like, be quick. I never know if they mean it, like, literally, or it's just part of the dialogue. <laughs> so I'm not too sure. as heck. Well, the night never ends, and even if you never get it fast enough, the day never comes, so the parts never go to it. Oh, really? Oh. Okay, so I do have plenty of time? Okay. See, I always struggle with that with games. I'm never certain when they're literal or not.
Yeah, I get anxious when games tell me to hurry too, but this is a situation where you can visit your grandmother and as long as you like. Okay, cool, cool. Thank you. I appreciate that. that I can jump. <laughs> Ho. Is there going to be an enemy here? Yes, got it. First try. Heck yeah. What do we got? Wait, do I have a limit of 500? Like, is that my max I can uh, have of rupees? Or did I just get, like, evenly 500? <laughs> is the max but you can extend your wallet like any other Zelda game. Okay cool. Thank you Eduardo. Beautiful. We made it. Have you noticed? Morning has not broken since we've arrived at Great Fish Isle. The land that was so ravaged by monsters, it is as if time itself is frozen. Perhaps this is the curse that Velu spoke of. Whatever the reason, if this night does not end, then we do not need to worry about the pirates overtaking us. In fact, it might not be a bad idea for you to visit your hometown and family again after such a long time away. Ah, perfect. We can speak with Jaboon after you do. Okay, lovely. That's nice that he tells me. monsters here. Okay, let's go to this. Good evening! Letters for Jade, we have one. Here is your letter. Notice from Beetle's shop ship. It's time for our semi-annual big chance extravaganza. We have a new product that has burst onto the scene. Bombs! We're having an extra special sale on this choice item for a limited time only. You'll know where to find us by checking the enclosed beetle shop ship sh chart. <laughs> Visit a beetle shop ship near you today. Often not available in all regions. Don't miss this huge opportunity. Thanks, beetle. Beetle's chart. Cool. Okay, let's go see grandma. I know it's kind of pointless because I've got a max wallet, but... I am 
Nicola, thank you. Oh, and thank you so much for the compliment. Grandma! Oh, well. Hey, Ariel, don't go, don't leave. Don't, your, don't leave your poor old grandma all alone. Did you save the game, Jade? Uh, you can. Save. Continue. I love this game. Oh, I'm glad I'm a good gamer. Use a fairy on her? Are you sure? I can always get a new one. always happy to see your bright shining face my dear sweet you're safe that's wonderful just wonderful did you do this did you hear me heal me oh you're such a sweet child oh that's right you and your sister are real are trying so hard to be strong but I've just been sitting here moaning and worrying I'm your grandmother I'm the one who should be taking care of you I'm so sorry. I haven't even considered what you must be going through. I'm a terrible grandma. No, you're not. This is all I have to give you right now. You can keep it in your empty bottle. You got elixir soup. This healthy soup your grandmother makes replenishes all your life energy and magic power. Oh, cool. Your attack power also doubles until the first time you take damage. Now that is one hearty soup. <laughs> Oh my god and your kind old grandmother filled your bottle so full that there's two helpings inside isn't she the sweetest <laughs> you and your sister love this soup don't you if you run out i can make it for you anytime you like <laughs> grandma's going to try to be strong so you can as well but don't do anything reckless all right i'm not even pressing a it's just going Whenever you have an empty bottle, you just bring it straight to Grandma. I can make more of, more soup for you whenever you like. <laughs> Sweet Grandma! Oh, look at these photos. <laughs> Aww. Now I'll put my boomerang back on there. Okay. Oh my gosh. You're a lot bigger than, than when I left you. I can't pick him up. <laughs> He's too, too chongy. Wow. You are large. <laughs> hey, leave a like for hitting at the two hour mark, guys. Hi. Oh, you made it back. Nasty things have been happening here at night ever since you left on that boat. You'd better head home early today and don't come out to play until long after the sun has risen tomorrow. We'll see about that. Oh, hi. I'm so glad you're safe. We've all been so worried. The boys will be so surprised to hear you've returned just as soon as they wake up, that is. Oh, it's the snotty boys. Oh, look how cute they are! <laughs> They're so cute! Beautiful. He's got a 
sleeping snot bubble. It's beautiful. When I was younger, I used to drink chicken ramen soup broth and pretended it was grandma's soup. That's so cute. I didn't really have much soup growing up, if I'm honest. But then again, I live in Australia and it's not typically that cold. But this winter, I don't know. I, I, I reckon I'm just getting old and therefore I get cold more easily. But this winter's got me cold. <laughs> Oh yeah, there was no point because I'm already max, maxed out. <laughs> Why did I do that? Brazil is having a very cold days too. I know, it's like um, weather's usually not as cold weather. We get in it intensely. Well, shout out to my fellow Southern Hemispheres peoples. Oh, oh, you're so gross looking. I feel like a devil. Nasty. Oh. Nasty! Oh! Sorry for screaming in your ear, guys. My goodness. Whoa. <sighs> so close. If only I could fly to the top of that hill. If only. Beneath that rock head, the Oh, I nearly spoke out loud without thinking. It is a secret. Yes, quite a secret. So let me get my spy glass. And then... Oh, boy. Okay, so that's where I gotta go. Well, I've got a paraglider, so... Maybe that could help. Yep. Yep. Okay, so I want to go there. Alright, let's see if I can... Make my way! Oh no. <laughs> I don't think I got this. The wind's blowing too hard. Oh, I should have changed where the wind was going. That's my fault. <laughs> But I got it. I just gotta change the wind direction. I was not thinking. Now I'll use my brain. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me grab some more magic. Come on, grass. Thank you for the hearts, but I want magic. Alright, I'll make my way back over. I'll, <laughs> I'll get some more. <laughs> Magic. I need more. There we go. A bit more magic. Okay, there should be more when I get up there. Some magic in here. Okay, let me change the wind. Dang it, why does it do that? There we go. Mm. 
now I can't see what direction. I guess that way? I'll double check. Yes, yeah. Okay. This is enough magic to get me across. Hmm. We'll find out. Okay, it's enough. <laughs> Thank goodness. Hey, now he gives me a big thing of magic. going up this way. Wait, I think. Or is that the way I came? I'm so confused. No, that's the way I came. Okay. Yes, I am going this way. Okay. <laughs> I get so disoriented. But, ooh, we started a fire. You're nasty. Okay, got that one. Oh no, he's still alive. Okay. Now he's dead. Ooh, good hit, dog. Dang. Okay, well, I got him. And then I just want to put my boomerang back. And then get all of these nasties. Beautiful. Lovely. Okay. Now, let me put my bombs here. Oh. Okay. What do you say? Fairy fountain site! This spot marks the remains of an ancient fairy fountain. The legendary hero was said to come here after battle so the fairies could ease his weariness. I don't have an empty bottle, but that's okay. He was also said that whoever met with the great fairy who lived here was blessed with a great fortune. Lovely. Let's go. And then these things. Okay. Whoa. Oh my gosh. You're so cute. Is it not a big fairy? Okay, it is, it is. <laughs> Young waker of the winds, allow me to aid in your quest. Wow. Wow. Ooh, you can now carry more rupees! There you go! The fairies in this fountain shall ease your weariness 
When you grow fatigued from your battles, come here to be refreshed. Thank you! Perfect. <sighs> okay. Oh, I saw that in the SD. Oh my god, I hit you so hard you went up top. Okay. Um Wow. Was that one? From the outside? Some of you? Oh, <laughs> maybe I can boomerang? Hmm. How about that? <laughs> yeah! Nice. Damn, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Okay. Is this where I came from? Yes. Okay. Yep. Oh, yes. I was hoping. <laughs> I thought maybe it got too low, but heck yeah. power you have now, you can neither lift nor destroy that stone. And yet somewhere on this sea, the power to do so lies waiting for one to find. You must seek it out. Okay. I guess it's okay if night never, never ends, then I have to find the power. Damn. Okay. Cool. Hey, my bad. Well, there you go. Are you ready? If that is the case, then we must search for the cave around the backside of Outset, where Jaboon said to hide. Yep. Okay, so the outside of the island. And would I, like, cannon the wall? Whoa, cool. I love how my ship's eyes glow. Hmm. Oh, that's a big whirlpool. Oh, here we go. Okay, it's boomerang time. Oh my god, Beetle's gonna join the battle. <laughs> oh, that's gotta be it. Oh, I guess instead of fighting a sea monster, I just fight the slab. Ooh. I 
see. Don't worry, it's not just your computer. The frame rate is going a little bit poopy. But we're getting it. One more. Woo! Heck yeah! Hello too, Brazil, Victor. We got it! You're the lads. We did it, team. Hi, Wumbo. <laughs> Is this Jaboon? Well met indeed, Jaboon. I am pleased to see that you are safe. Whatever he is saying. Yes, it seems Ganon has returned. There can be no other explanation. Whatever he is saying. Unfortunately, that is not so. The one I have brought with me has no connection to the legendary one. How do you know that? Hmm? How do you know that? And yet I sense great promise in the courage that this one possesses. I do. It is the only way. his top teeth it's like <sighs> you got Nehru's pearl the water spirit Jaboon was kind enough to give you this jewel a treasure of one of the goddesses wow. so that foul rain and endless night were indeed elements of a curse brought on by brought on us by Ka Ganon. Canon. He must intend to cast this land into pure darkness for all time. I believe I have. Ganon's curse has been broken by the power of the pearl that Jaboon gave us, so morning should come soon. It is well that we have gathered all the pearls. Are you ready? I have marked the places where you must set the pearls on your sea chart. Once you have placed each of the pearls in its proper location, the proving grounds for your courage will be become apparent. Clearly, the search for Jaboon has shown that Ganon has begun to make efforts to block our path forward. It is certain that the perils ahead will be greater than any you have faced thus far. You should finish any business you have here on outset right now, so that you shall not have any regrets later. Grandma? While I'm here, hey, we got it. Yeah, more money. Um, okay. Should I go see Grandma once again before I leave?
I like that when I sway, you can hear the creaking. That's so cool. Ooh, more mail. Good evening. Letters for Jade, we have one. Here is your letter. I'm sorry to disturb you with this unsolicited letter. If the following does not interest you, please throw the letter away without a second thought. But this is your big chance. Do you have need of an empty bottle, a piece of heart, or a treasure chart? We have them at special bargain prices. But we only have one of each. If you are interested, go to the rock... Wait, go to the shop ship near Rockspire Island. Ooh, where's Rockspire Island? First come, first served. I can't wait to serve you. To those who took time to read this letter, please accept my humble thanks. Assistant manager, Rockspire shop ship. Heck yeah, I definitely want that. And a green ruby, that's cute. Grandma? Oh. Okay, it's just the same thing. Right. Okay. Love you, Grandma. Hey, Epic Gamer, how are you? Yep. Okay, so. Where should I head for first? Um. I've also got that treasure chart 15. I could go there. Wait, Beetle. What you got? I got lots of money. What you got? Uh, I guess I don't really need any of these things. So <laughs> he was like, Sorry, Beetle. Okay, so Huh, I don't f fully know which place to go to. Sorry, I'm looking down at my thingy. I've opened treasure chart 15, but it doesn't show me exactly where to go. So, are these just the three places that I gotta put the pearls? I guess I'll just go there. Okay. Let me head to this one first. Alright. But I wanna make the wind go north. Northeast. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, wait, the way. Is that fish? How do I give bait again? <sighs> Here we go. I guess I put that. Ah, put that there. And then. Hey! <laughs> Hoi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want to chart and information about this island. Then start by opening up your sea chart. that beneath the big head boulder on top of the hill here on outset 
is where the greatest treasures of all, the Golden Triumph Forks, are buried. But actually, Fry, I must have misheard or something. Because this one guy told me that there was actually buried b beneath that weird rock was something, some shard of something called a Triforce. Who ever heard of that? That's crazy. There's a big difference between Triumph Forks and Triforce. I mean, I think someone intentionally buried something misleading there. And that's all the info I got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, Fry. I can't go fighting evil on an empty stomach, you know? And with that, I'm off. Cool. Goodbye. Lovely. Gee, I miss this game so much. Oh, when did you first play it? It's my first time experiencing it, but I love it. I think it's a great game. Triumph Forks. <laughs> Who the hell does he think he is? <laughs> that is just not right. We're getting there. You played it on GameCube. Oh, nice. That was the original version, huh? Ooh, I'm on the Wii U version. Don't you dare, Cyclone. I will say there is so much info you can get from the fish, so it's good to throw more bait for every single square. Like at the same fish or different fish? Sudsman, I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? I'm coming to plant the great Deku tree seed. Ew, it looks mortifying. <laughs> but look. Usually the forest trees sprout quite vigorously wherever you plant them, but for some reason this one is withered. I'd be willing to bet that the trees my fellow Koroks have planted are withering as well. It seems that when one tree fails to grow from its seed, all the forest trees from that year's seed wither and fail to grow, tall and mighty. What are we to do? If they're n not able to nurse these trees to health, the forest will never spread, and the great Deku tree will slowly wither and die. Maybe if we could sprinkle the water from the forest haven on the tree, maybe then the sapling would be saved. That water is well is the wellspring of the great Deku tree's life force. Swordsman, could you go to the forest haven and get some of the water that flows around the great Deku tree? Could you get some and sprinkle on it on this poor forest tree? Please, please help me. Sure, I have no idea where that is, but... Oh, that's so sad. To reach Southern Fairy Island, head east from here. Oh, cool. Okay. So much to take in. Hold on. What is this? I don't know. <laughs> Why is that on fire? What is happening here? this do? This whole yeah. island is confusing me. <laughs> what is this? Yeah. Um. <laughs> I 
I don't know. Am I meant to... Nope. Okay, I'm not too sure. <laughs> Let's continue. Okay, let's bring my map back up. All right, set sail. My game go super um, choppy. So, I, do I have to throw bait only when I see a fish or at any point? Because I thought I had to do it only when I see a fish. Boomer boomerangs work on them, that's good to know. So, let me know. <laughs> Only when you see the fish, only when you see him. Cool, that's what I thought. Thank you so much. Just checking. Thank you guys, I appreciate that. They're both big parts of my childhood, especially this one. Oh. Jason, I still have my GameCube been thinking about ordering this in Twilight Princess for it. Oh, that's so cool. So now, let's go. Oopsies. Oh gosh, I accidentally... <gasps> No, I wasted bait on dry land. I didn't mean to. Damn. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Well, we have one bait left. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, let's go. I love how they look when they're tiny as well. <sighs> Young waker of the winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. You now carry more bombs. Now you can bring a maximum of 60 with you wherever you go. The fairies in this fountain shall ease your weariness. When you grow fatigued from your battles, come here to be refreshed. my ship. <laughs> cool. 
Um, where the heck? There it is. <laughs> Beautiful. And then, apparently if I still keep going this way, there's something else. Hey! Let's put out some bait. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Hi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want a chart and information about this island. Then start by opening up your sea chart. Listen up, Samoa Fry. This is just between you and me. On Outset Island, buried beneath the black soil, there's some serious treasure. I know it sounds like I'm trying to pull your leg, but I'm serious. Try digging there. How do I dig? What? Yeah, yeah. You haven't got anything to dig with? I'd say try using an animal or something. Work smarter, not harder, Small Fry. <laughs> Mood. An animal. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait. And with that, I'm off. Cool. Thank you. Apparently just ahead, there's like a thing on my chart circling this area. Right here, it shows that I'm kind of on it, but is that it? Who knew? I guess so. I've got a oh, RB of seagulls. <laughs> okay, and now I need to put. Uh, All right, let me. Get up on here. Let's see how to fight these things. Okay, they're not bothering me right now. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Wandering traveler who seeks the guidepost of the goddess, place the pearl you hold here. placed Nehru's pearl in the ancient statue's hands. Two pearls remain. Cool! Make sure y'all leave a like! Oh, those nasties! Alright, cool. We did the first one. On to... Oh my gosh. The next. Well, thank you, DRF. That's so sweet. I'm glad you enjoy... Ooh videos. Whoa. Okay. Alright, now to the eastern one. Can't wait for new Zelda remakes. I welcome them all with open arms. Zelda games are something special. I'm sure the grass will eat your bait and grow lively. Thank you, Eduardo. I really needed to hear that. <laughs> You're a champ. <laughs> I appreciate that. It makes me feel better. <laughs> hey Tanjiro or oh, Tanjiro
Oopsies, wrong one. This one. Got it. Hey, Pesco, welcome back. Hey, we got some much treasure. Beautiful. Okay. Let's see, so I'm gonna go east way. We got this. Okay, should be somewhere in this square of water. <laughs> See lots of little cyclones. Oh boy. Okay, here it is. Wandering traveler who seeks the guideposts of the goddesses, place the pearl you hold here. Welcome back, Weedsty. You placed Pharaoh's pearl in the ancient statue's hand. Hi, Donald. One pearl remains. We did it. Okay, now I need to change the winds to northwest. Are you just little treasure hunters? Can I speak to you? Oh, no, that's speaking to my dude. <laughs> Why are they wearing nothing except for <laughs> tiny little swim trunks and helmets? <laughs> oh, there we go, now I can speak. Yeah. Mighty fine boat you got there, bub. You must be searching for treasure on the seafloor too, aren't you? Ha ha ha, you won't get any from us, bub. Not likely. Let me ask you something real quick. Who wanders around on a fishless sea? I'll tell you who, bub. Only pirates, monsters, and treasure hunters like ourselves. And maybe some of some other things that I've never heard of. Uh huh. You know, with all the weak island dwellers who never leave their shores, I'm amazed to see such ti a tiny little guy out here. I like your style, bub. I feel like I've known you my whole life. So hey, bub, tell you what, as one treasure hunter to another, I'll give you this. You'll definitely be needing it if you want to haul up treasure. Come on, take it. 
I won't take no for an answer. I also won't take nay, nope, or nah. Just grab it. Yay, thank you. Heck yeah. First you open your map and then compare the island charts on the right with the treasure charts on the left to see where the treasure lies. If you press plus to pause the game, you can take your sweet time pouring over the charts. After all, haste makes waste. Then you just use your grappling hook while in your boat to haul up treasure. Just press right, easy as you like. Yeah, those grappling hooks, nothing pulls up stuff like those things. Uh huh. Well, little treasure buddy, good luck to all of us. Happy hunting. Thank Bye. you. Bye. <laughs> cool. Set sail. <laughs> what cool guys. They're just chilling, doing their thing. Nostalgia Overload, man. Oh, that's so good. I hope you're enjoying. Should I stop by this island while I'm here? Why not? I don't know if it's one I've been to before, but... Let's go. <gasps> There's a Karak! Oh, you're also having trouble. Yup. Hello, Swordsman. I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? Huh? You say the forest trees my fellow Koroks have planted are withering? So it's true. As you can see, the forest tree I have planted is doing the same. I can't help but think <laughs> that this too is the result of Ganondorf's evil plot. Could it be? <laughs> Regardless, in order to bring the life back into this poor withered sapling, I will certainly need forest water. Swordsman, could you please go to the forest haven and bring back some of the water that flows around the great Deku tree? Could you sprinkle it on this tree? <laughs> Please, I beg of you. <laughs> Sorry, I guess. Oh, I'm so stupid. When is your next stream? Every Sunday. Well, m my Sunday. You guys is uh, Saturday, I believe. Good morning. Letters for Jade. We have one letter. Here's your letter. How are you doing, Jade? Do you have enough of Granny Soup? Oh. <laughs> Where are you now? You may be closer than I suspect. Are you hungry? Are you keeping warm? You haven't injured yourself, have you? You always work so hard. Do you have enough rupees? Your grandma doesn't have a lot, but I'm sending you everything I've saved up. Ah! As long as I have you and Ariel, I don't need anything else. I just want the two of you to return home safely. Love, Grandma. <laughs> All she had was 20. <laughs> this is so sad. Oh, I'm... I love my grandma. AIDS. It's your boy. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, it's raining. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Young waker of the winds, allow me to aid in your quest. 
I love that they have four arms, it's so magical. Whoa, I can carry 99 bombs! Damn, thank you! The fairies in this fountain shall ease your weariness. When you grow fatigued from your battles, come here to be refreshed. I love Australia, my first trip of father and son together in Sydney years ago. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, cool. What'd you think of Sydney? I've always imagined what it'd be like to be a tourist here in Sydney because, I don't know, it's just a weird place, man. Ooh, we got a fish, but I don't have any more bait. I need beetle. Um, where's my boat? <laughs> How do I always lose my boat? There it is. Let's go. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Go on this way. How are the emus? <laughs> I like emus, I think they're so cute. They're not, um, they're not like a ton of them in the city city, but you don't have to go too far to see them. Like honestly, you can go less than a full hour away from the city CBD and you get hecka emus. I think they're very cute. <laughs> they can be naughty, but they're really cute. <laughs> I loved Sydney and reminded me of finding uh, Nemo every time. <laughs> Dad and I did a lot of tourist things there. I love Australian animals too. Oh, nice. What's your favorite animal from Australia? want to visit Australia one day well if you do make sure you go to New Zealand as well because New Zealand's way cooler than Australia I've got to be honest and if you're gonna go all the way to this side of the world go get um get New Zealand up in there too here we go that must be it There she is! Why do you like New Zealand more than Australia? Um, just like, the land I think is way cooler, like it's so mountainous, whereas we're really flat here in Australia. But I, I think Australia is super cool, but I wouldn't go to Australia and not go to the outback. I think if you're gonna to come to Australia, you should definitely go to like the Northern Territory um, and see like the outback. But this is my personal opinion. Not everyone like wants to do that. So either way, both countries are very cool. Wondering traveler who seeks the guidepost of the goddesses, place the pearl you hold here. Visited Queenstown? Hell yeah, Queenstown's awesome. You placed Din's pearl in the ancient statue's hands. Ooh. <gasps> You're okay, Link. Oh my god! Cool! Where did Link go? He got shooketh and shot away. <laughs> wow! 
Triforce vibes. <laughs> Lol went flying. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Is he okay? <laughs> Whoa. What the freak? <laughs> Ow, Link. Oh, <laughs> sweet boy. <laughs> He's having to come say a laugh to me because I got yeeted. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> wow! He just splats on the wall. <laughs> this tower, which the pearls of the gods have caused to appear is a place that the gods of the ancient world prepared so that they might test the courage of men only who is able to overcome the trials that await here will be acknowledged by the gods to be a true hero only then will that hero be permitted to wield the power to destroy the great evil that which you must obtain now lies before you you must believe in your own courage, which has led you to triumph over the many hardships you have faced, and you must triumph once again. You must rise above the trial of the gods. Woo! Okay, we will continue this in the next one. And yeah, it's been three hours. Three hours, y'all, we did it. That was a good one. Yeah, you know Queenstown? I love Queenstown. I've been there a bunch. It's really cool. I actually, yeah, I've been there like three, four times. I freaking love Queenstown. But then again, it's only like a three hour flight for me, so it's super quick. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for joining. We liked Queenstown very much. Uh, first time we saw Tortoras and Kiwi Birds. Oh, I don't know what Tortoras are, but Kiwi Birds, yes. And visited some filming locations of Lord of the Rings, like Isengard. I haven't. I need to. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I'm just watching Lord of the Rings for my first time ever, so I, I must. I must. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining, and please make sure that you stay tuned for next Sunday. We shall continue. But yeah, you can see me tomorrow. See me throughout the week, because obviously my content is always coming out. Jordan, Nick, and I are always making content on both GamerDube and MovieDube, so feel free to check us out there. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. But otherwise, if you're just here for the lives, I will see you next Sunday. Alrighty, thanks guys. Bye.
Thank you. 